When DNA replicates, its strands are separated by the enzyme helicase. Single-stranded DNA binding proteins keep the strands from reannealing. One DNA strand encodes the leading strand, which forms from its 5' prime to its 3' prime end, using DNA polymerase 3. No problem here but the lagging strand presents problems. It has to form from 5' prime to 3' prime too. It forms in pieces called Okazaki fragments. First, an RNA primase lays down an RNA primer. Then, DNA polymerase 3 lays down new DNA. The process repeats again and again. DNA polymerase 1 replaces the RNA primers with DNA. Finally, DNA ligase links the Okazaki fragment. If a change occurs to the nucleotide sequence, it is like having the letters of a word changed. An alteration in a gene is called a mutation. How do all these changes occur? There are actually a number of different things that can cause mutations. Examples include chemicals that can be swallowed or inhaled, such as those found in chewing tobacco and cigarette smoke, and radiation from the sun or artificial sources like a tanning bed. Sometimes mutations occur without any known external cause. They just happen. One of the things that viruses do very well is use carbohydrates or, or sugars on the cell surfaces as a way for attaching themselves and then getting in, gaining entry. In a lysogenic cycle,
Viral nucleic acid becomes part of the host cell's chromosome and is replicated with it. Eventually, the virus enters a lytic cycle and kills the host cells. A bacteriophage attaches to a bacterial host cell by locking onto a specific receptor site on the surface of the host cell. The virus then injects its DNA into the host cell. Once inside the cell, the viral DNA inserts itself into a specific site in the chromosome of the host cell. Viral DNA is then called a provirus. During cell reproduction, the host cell copies the provirus genes along with its own DNA. The provirus is inactive at this time. When the cell divides, both the host genes and the provirus genes are passed on to the two daughter cells. At any time, a provirus may leave the host chromosome and enter a lytic cycle. When this happens, the host cell's DNA is broken down and new virus parts are produced and assembled. Eventually, the cell ruptures and new virus particles are released.